Well, hello, and welcome back to Oxen Not Included. In our previous episode, we lost Jerry. We're out of food. Josh is crying over the mourn of his, his friend, I imagine. He's starving. Things are looking really bad right now. I think Jerry was our main cook, too. No, Josh. Josh is. I think Jerry was like our secondary main cook. Yeah. It's... Uh, it's not looking good, everybody. Jerry was a tough loss. You know, the thing about this game... And it's like I was, I was talking to one of the guys in the comments. Oh, good old T. Was that... Whenever anybody dies... I have the biggest sigh. And it's like just this... This supreme gut punch that I get. Just, just, to, just a punch, just a punch that just, just straight, just rattles my bones, man. Because you invest so much into these guys, they do so much hard work, and then they just die. And it hurts. It just hurts. We have plenty of oxygen. Jerry, Josh is just going to cry over it. He's like, I don't have any food to make. They have a little bit of food. We're going to keep on keeping on. Now we got stress vomiting. Why is there no... The power should be... Should be good to go. And another dupe has died. Camille has died. I don't know. I'm at a loss for words. It's like we're trying we're trying to stave it off. If we can get this fertilizer, maybe. I just don't think it's going to be in time. I don't know. I don't know anything. What's up with this battery? Is there a broken connection? I don't understand. Okay. Well. <sighs> yeah. I am. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We got nines all across the board right there. I mean, if we can get this piping, get this fertilizer synthesizer up and running, we might be able to stave it all off, but, uh, I mean, it's basically for sleet wheat production. It's waiting dirt. Fertilization. Atmosphere. Everything and anything. I don't know. How are we doing on water now? We're actually really good on water, surprisingly. But these death of these dupes is no bueno they're all yeah I don't know kinda 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 not it's kinda not looking good kinda not looking good alright so let's take a look here uh is that just under base for the no transit tubing foods plumbing ventilation refinement medicine furniture oh it's just stations I don't know Utilities? That can't be a utility. Where is the where is the burial plot on that? I'm kind of my mind my mind is muffled right now. Losing double dupes, starvation imminent. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. My mind my mind is all flustered. It's all flustered right now. Okay, uh, I think that's under utilities. No, it gotta be stations or something like that. Furniture. Espresso machine, power, food, plumbing, ventilation, no. Bunker doors, storage. Okay, we're... Another dupe has died. Josh has starved to death. Have we gotten the f we have not gotten that 
And then there was one, two, three, four, five, six. Josh being, of course, the main cook. Uh. I don't. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Okay, there it is. Medicine? Really? Okay. Uh, two, three, you know what? Let's just make a couple of them. And kind of see how this plays on out. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, the only thing we do is kind of keep on going on. Um... I don't know. I really don't know. So we could bring in another deuce, but we have absolutely no food at all. We don't have any light. Electricity is not running. How are we doing with coal anyway? We got 5.8 tons of it. I mean, I do have it kind of synced on up over here. Ingenious rock digging. Unreachable digs. Where is my coal on that? Coal's right over here. This is, uh, yeah, let's just expediate this and kind of see what happens. All right. Okay. Yeah. Heavy watt, heavy conductive plate. Okay. Allows heavy watt to be run through the floor on the tiles. We're going to need a couple of these. I don't really want to make it out of copper, but it's just kind of the way it's going to have to be. Um, so if we, what is it? Circle gets, what is, what's my rotate? It's been a while. Oh, it's Q? It's not Q. Circle. Yeah. So, if we... Do two of those. Kind of like so. Lashing out. T is now on a rampage due to absolutely no food. <laughs> he, feels, he feels sad after <laughs> breaking, breaking the equipment. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not surprised by any of this. I'm not surprised. So did we finish getting this? No, we're just waiting on some granite. Okay. Yep, more lashing on out. I am not surprised. Oh, God. Uh, wow. All right. Let's try, try to keep a cool head here. Try to keep cool heads, man. Um, building. Okay, so we do have one builder. Jeff, the architect. He's doing good. Um, what do I have my priority set? These are all fives. Okay, so this is of nobody's concern. Yet he's going up here for what? He. She. They got into an exosuit. T, you got into an exosuit just to go destroy the polymer press. Why would you do? Why would you do that? What? Uh, if we could just get this fertilizer synthesizer. If I hadn't boffed that, we might have been able to make it. Bubbles is starved to death. Two, three, four, five. We're down to five. Insufficient oxygen. Tea broke the only thing that we can make food with. Unless we just want to make mush. We don't even have dirt for it. I don't even think we have lice. We could make berry, actually, and that's pretty good. If we had the sleet wheat, which we don't, due to fertilization and atmosphere. Yeah. 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 All I can, yeah, that's honestly, that's all I can say. I'm really, uh, Really just kind of waiting on them to do this. I mean, if they do that, 
we we might honestly make it but I am just not I'm not um, 100% certain actually let's take that down a notch so do we have anybody doubled up on things that I'm not supposed to be doing okay so supplies don't have anybody mainly on that. We do have one person on that, one person on that, one person on that, one person on that. Art. T, you're the artist. It's probably... Yeah, I don't know. Mmm, I don't know. You're going to build these barrels, though. Ashcan, he's like, I'm going to build my tunes for my friends. We're losing so many. We have delivered these things. Okay, so has water been delivered there? We are, we're just waiting for somebody to flush the toilet. But that thing is broken. Waiting material, dirt? So how's that, how's that even gonna work? Okay, it's all getting backed up into it. So if they fix it... Will that, does that mean we're going to survive? I mean, we'll have fertilizer at least, right? I don't know. I do not know. Okay. Well, in any case, I guess let's get these things up and built. Make me feel a little bit better, right? A little bit better. I'm sorry, I'm so at a loss for words. You know, this power going in and on out. It's not too bueno. I think we're out of coal. We're down to 5.3 tons. High stress. T has died. And that means Burt for Tobin. Is the last one left. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. That's going to do it. <laughs> Bird for Tobin. Last man standing. He's like, I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live out my day. <laughs> to, to, the, to the best. He's starving. Let's take a look at old boy. He's mourning. He's starving. He cannot reach food. And let's 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 watch the last the last little bit of life that old Bert Batoman has as he takes his relaxing, his a little bit of relax R and R right here. He's like, you know what? Everybody's dead. All my all my buddies are dead. I'm just gonna do this for the rest rest of my life. And then he's going to take a nap on the floor. He, he's so hungry. He... Yep. Where, where did he go? Uh, I want to watch... I want to watch the very last bit of it. What? Where, 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 where'd you go, Bert? Bert! Where in the world did you go? Consumable or... Cole, he was trying. He was trying to get the the ore to restart the Jennies. He doesn't know what to do. He's a man of many talents. <sighs> oh my God. Yep, I was feeling it in the last episode. I was feeling it. I knew this was going to be the last one. Well, everybody, we gave it our best shot. And for being my first time playthrough, I learned a whole bunch of things. Honestly, a, uh, a and honestly, a grip of things. This game is is very complicated, and I started it off so poorly um, that I'm surprised we made it this far. You know, I I have definitely exceeded my expectations just just exceeded them exceeded seeing them greatly you know 
I didn't think I'd get to 100. You know, in fact, it's like I was calling my desk pretty early. You know, it's like we kept pushing on, kept managing. But this this last little trinket, this last update really just delivered the uh, the, 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 the death blow. You know, um, everybody was extremely angry. Nothing was cool enough. You know, it's gotten a little bit better. We got it up to 10s, I think, on the morale chart. So 10 out of 20. Not too bad considering where we're starting from. You know, but I learned a lot of things. A lot of very important things. Can I, can I scroll? Um, we're just going to dismiss this for the time being. I mean, yeah. I learned a lot of things. Uh, one, too much cool air is a bad thing. It is a very bad thing. Two, making sure we have a diverse amount of food production is also a key thing and getting that going early is is pretty darn critical um as far as cooling the base on down is concerned like only i only think that two two possibilities of uh of cold zones can can keep this base really cool i mean honestly 15 degrees this place is really cold right uh, three, keeping the power kind of, uh, with these heavy conductive wires, right? And using these power transformers to keep the power sufficiently maintained without blowouts, right? I, having multiple power transformers seems to be like a really good, good idea. And, uh, yeah. And it just, there's a lot of things like, uh, keeping the toiletry on its own closed circuit is also another thing I'm going to look on into. Uh, you know in a future one, but uh, you know, I'm gonna hold off on this game for a little bit uh, We're gonna let a couple other games come in. We'll come back to it eventually one day. I mean After like a, at least a couple more updates I think the next one comes in like three weeks or something like that, but I'm thinking like a couple updates There's a couple cool games coming out at the end of the month um, Which I'm looking forward to playing builder builder type games and uh, you know I want to tackle those before I head back on into the auction not included because this game is really it's super intense i learned an awful lot and i thank everybody for all their support that uh, that did watch this series and stayed with it and such when we come back of course we'll, we'll bring a lot more thunder to it right we'll we'll definitely get going a little bit quicker and explore a couple more things i mean i didn't even get into everything uh you know conveyor rails and all this stuff and that was actually one of the things that really um brought to mind is getting the ranch up and going really quick you know we I started to get into it, then I backed off. I wasn't paying, my mind wasn't focused on it. But creating a sufficient ranch is also a really good place to, for meat, right? And uh, all that kind of production. And it's like getting the, uh, you know, I didn't even get into these guys. The Pakus, which apparently make me uh, poopy dirt. Where, where is he on that? Where did that Paku go? But this guy will give me polluted dirt. And then we can take that and make it into good dirt, which we are going to need for the long run. But yeah, that's, that's neither here nor there. But I, other than that, you know, I feel I feel good. I feel good about what happened. You know, in retrospect, um, not knowing anything, coming on here and doing the best. Um, I'm also kind of thinking, like, just one main... Like, having these things often, often uh, these own little separate entities seem to be a little bit chaotic. Like, I think having those power certain, like, doors, like, one main hub for power to power oxygen suits and um, all that right there, I think, is kind of key. And then one having maybe one central oxygen. Like, we put all these in these cold places because I thought that was the way to help cool off the base. The base is cold, right? This place is freezing. But um, <clears throat> just one internal one. That's easily maintainable and easily to get to, I think, is a little more key. Like, having two cold ones and then one internal one is is a little bit better suited. I mean, our oxygen production was great. I mean, we never ran out of oxygen, luckily. Uh, food production, though, was poopy, so getting started on that a little bit quicker is definitely a necessity. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I learned a lot. I thank everybody, you know, for tuning on in and for all the great input and stuff. I wouldn't have gotten as far in this uh, series if it hadn't been for you guys. So I'd like to thank you, but... That's going to do it for, uh, for Season 1 of Oxygen Not Included. If you enjoyed the season, go ahead and uh, leave a like, comment on down below, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, because uh, there are going to be more adventures here in this soon. I don't know, not immediately, but maybe like in a month or so, we'll give it a little bit of a break. You know, I'm waiting for Machiavellan to kind of come back online if it ever does. Um, 
But yeah, we got we got some other cool games coming out at the end of the month, which is uh, the Universum, which looks good, and Two Point Hospital, which is two good ones. And they're coming out on the 28th and 29th, and I like to bring those on into the builder lineup and uh, give those a go <clears throat> and see what leads me there. Uh, but you know, we do of course still have um, my mind. My mind is so out there. Honestly, I am devastated. Like I knew it was coming, but the heartache is real. It's sad to see all these guys go, and yeah, it, it's tough. It's tough, man. So, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be it. So until next time, everybody, you take it easy, and I'll see you around. Peace. <laughs>